Whether you're in high school or learning on your own, arrays in Java can be kind of hard to understand. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use arrays in Java and also how they can help you swap weapons during a zombie apocalypse. What's up guys, my name's Alex, back with another Java tutorial. On this channel, I make fresh new programs every week to help beginners, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. So we just found out that we're in a zombie apocalypse and in our house, we have a shotgun, we have an assault rifle, and we also have a sniper rifle. Shotgun only works on close zombies, the assault rifle only works on mid-range zombies, and our sniper rifle will only shoot those long-range zombies. And the cool thing about programming is that you can make a program to do that. So I'm, I'm going to show you and we're going to use arrays in Java. So to start, go to file new Java project and then we'll call it our zombie killer and hit finish. Next, open it up, right click the source and go to new class. And this will set up our Java file for us. And we'll also call this our zombie killer and tick this last, this first check mark here and that'll be our last step and hit finish. Now everything's set up for us to start swapping weapons and blowing up some zombies. First we'll just welcome ourselves to this simulation. We'll say system.out.println just to print some text to the screen and we'll just say welcome to our zombie killer program just like that and we'll save that and run it and when this runs we'll just see that text pop up on the screen and let's go back to our programming window make it a little bigger and let's start setting up our weapons we have three weapons we have a shotgun we have an assault rifle and we have a sniper now three weapons isn't too bad but what if we had like a hundred that might be a lot to keep track of in our heads and on the program an easy way to keep track of a long list of things is called an array and all it is is a list of whatever you want so this will be our list of zombie weapons each of our weapons is a string which just means a word or a sentence we just type string and then we can name it so this will be like our backpack next do a box like this with the square square brackets and then to add those weapons just type it like this so we have our shotgun, and then go to the next one, do a comma. What else do we have in our backpack? We have our assault rifle, Rigel assault rifle, and then we have our sniper. And it's a pretty big backpack because I don't know of any that can fit all of these. And pat yourself on the back now because you just wrote an array. It's just a list of whatever you're trying to keep track of. We also have our zombies. So let's add our zombies like this. We put a box and then we add our zombies. We have our close range zombie. We have our mid range zombie. And we have our long range zombie. And if we ran this program now, nothing would happen because we're not printing anything to the screen. And to bring this to the screen, we can just do that with the print statement here. Since now our program knows that we have three kinds of weapons and there's three kinds of zombies, we can start to pull them out and use them. So say a close range zombie is attacking. Which weapon do we want to use? Well, we want to use our shotgun, which is the first element in the list. So to take it out of our backpack, we just type backpack and then the first element. Now save it and then we'll run it here and see what gets printed out. So we pulled something out of our backpack, but it's actually the assault rifle. I thought if we got the first element in our backpack, it should be the shotgun since that was first. Most programming languages start off with zero and that's called the index. If we want to get our shotgun, we type in backpack zero. If we want our assault rifle, we type backpack one. And if we want the sniper, we type backpack two. It's kind of tricky to get used to, but you'll get the hang of it. Just remember to always start at zero and then count from there. So let's practice a little bit. Let's um, see all the items in our backpack. Go to backpack items. And we'll say get the zero and we'll copy it and get 
one, and two. So this will pull out our shotgun, then our assault rifle, and then our sniper. So we'll run it, and here we go. Our backpack items are our shotgun, assault rifle, and sniper. And we can do the exact same thing with our zombies. So we can say these are the zombies in the zombies array. We get zombies of the zero index, zombies of the one index, and then zombies of the two index. Save it, run it, and now here are our zombies. Close range, mid range, long range. Okay, so there are like three long range zombies right outside my door right now, and one close range zombie. And I really need to kill these as fast as possible because I do not want my family to die. So we'll just print something to the screen. And what did I say? There were, there were um, three long range. So to get our sniper, what do we have to do? We go into our backpack. And I remember this indexes. Indexes start at zero. And to get our sniper, we go zero, one, two. Okay, so we pull out our sniper. And we'll need to take three sniper shots for three long range zombies, okay? And then we need to, oh man, we need to get the close range zombie. Right, and that was a shotgun. So I remember arrays use indexes, which start at zero. So to get our shotgun, we go into our backpack and get number zero. So let's save it, run it, and see if I survived. Sniper, 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 shotgun. Oh man, that would not have been good. I'm really glad we had this program to save my life. But, but like honestly, in video games, this is how it works. When you have five different weapons and you press one through five on your num keys, the computer holds it in a list or probably an array and it's grabbing it from that index pretty much. So this is really cool stuff and you can use other types of variables as well. It doesn't have to be strings or words. So let's do one with some numbers. We'll do int for integer. We'll just say um, numbers that zombies hate and we'll put them in our box and what do zombies hate? They hate the number four, in case you didn't know. They hate the number 90, they hate the number 70, they hate the number one, two, three, and they hate all these other numbers. We'll just make this a little bigger. To grab a item from here is just the exact same thing. Say we wanna get 561. Well, we know arrays start at zero, and then we count from there. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I do num if I go into numbers, zombies hate, and then put that six in there, this will output that 561 number. So I hope a different perspective like this has helped you learn arrays in Java, and please let me know if this was helpful. I challenge you to customize your backpack. What are some of your favorite weapons in video games? I know growing up, mine was uh, the Spaz-12 shotgun from Modern Warfare 2. There was the ACR I was a big fan of, and then the L96A1 from Call of Duty Black Ops. That was one of my favorite snipers. You could even customize your zombies as well. You could call one of them a crawler. Just have some fun with it. I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. Question of the day, how did you customize your zombie arrays in Java? What challenges did you face? Connect with me in the comments and engage with this community of new programmers. Make sure to subscribe so you see all my newest videos the day they come out. If this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Catch ya.